Khalis, Daniel, Hello. welcome Hi. to Unipack. Good to see you. Hi, good to see you. Guys. Good to see you. Yeah. This Hi. is not my first time. Yes. You know. Daniel, first time? Yep. It is yes. his first time. So welcome. Yeah. Look, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> He's very big on these things. Yeah. So, you know why we're here? Yes. We have a little shopping list. Indeed. I'm not too versed with all these things. He's the handyman in the office right. with all the DIY stuff. Yes. That's more up my stream. Okay, so, yes. I think you can run by yeah. uh, Daryl, the shopping yes. list for Auto Speed. Yeah, we, sure, great. So. Just a couple of weeks. <laughs> That's the whole list. Ah. It's quite a lot of things there. Eh? Just gonna leave you guys to it. Yes. I'm gonna be here distracting myself. <laughs> Flirting with the 240 All right. The lady. <laughs> yeah, with the fair lady. <laughs> lady in red. Okay. All right. So okay. I, I think we have quite a few small things here. So let's go where we keep all the small things. Yes, let's have a look. Okay, so here we have our small, tiny beta corner. So for those of you who don't know oh, beta tools, yes, they are Europe's leading motorsport tools. Cool. Formerly a partner of Ferrari F1. Ah, and sweet. from the past, we've been also um, with you guys for your RWB build. Yep. So what we'll be bringing to the show, definitely we'll be showcasing the two, two boxes. Same time, you have al aluminum toolboxes here. Our beta new cargo. Okay, this is also going, going to be a fe uh, feature at the show. So we're hoping to pair it with one of the dioramas. Maybe I we see. could hang some tools here so to give it a good display. Right. At the time, you also have our C24S, which makes a good showpiece, especially alongside cars and whatsoever. So we yeah we're gonna have that's the, the two trolley. trolley that's yep. the one okay so, so the same what else time. Do have? okay all right we have go to the next one go to the next one all right cool over here we have actually the classic beta trolleys I see so what you have there is actually the new range but this is in a way I would say the rustic range previously they were all constructed in steel so not using any soft plastics or whatever or aluminium like what you see. But the good thing about this is it suits more of a rustic vibe. I see. So perhaps good to be paired with maybe some of the classic cars, you know, because to have something a bit more newer, maybe it doesn't suit the scene. But these guys, I think, you know. Yeah. Uh, in my mind, whenever I see these kind of trolleys and stuff, yes. is that I will always imagine this kind of vibe. Yes. It's rarely that I look at those kind of things, <laughs> the newer ones. Because Correct. In my mind, when I, whenever you go to like newer, yeah. um, well, service centers yes. or not, they'll have those but whenever you see like photos of people's homes and everything. it's the classic metal Correct, trolley yeah. right so yeah these these guys okay yeah something else we're bringing to the show is actually our very special but very used beta jack okay so this perhaps will be good to be featured also at the rally section because actually interesting thing is the one motorsport rally team they swear by these guys because of oh. the nature of the six wheels it's very good off-road Yes, and the good thing is also it's low profile. So if you're talking about maybe lowered cars or whatever, it's very good. But the feedback from the One Motorsport Rally team is that when they drag this out to Bagan Dato and all, where it's very muddy, the wheels still handle it fine. But it's quite unique because you normally only see your standard uh, hydraulic jacks around. Right, yep. But this is a low profile and six wheel hydraulic jack. So it's not for aesthetic values there? Yes, it's not. It's for practical reasons too. Um, another one of the old boxes we'll be bringing along. So the thing is, for choosing the display for Art of Speed, we do know that you guys want to keep in theme with the yeah. rusticness. So we'll be bringing some of the used boxes that we cool, use. So yeah. it'll be coming with the dirt and, and grime just to suit the show in yeah, a way. Yeah, that's well, no workshop or no home yep. is really that clean <laughs> to be honest. That is correct, that is correct, yes. So like this place, the whole Beta Tools Unipack um, facility here. So is this like a proper workshop here where you guys actually do work on cars? Yes, okay. What started out to actually be a showroom display has now evolved to our own personal garage. So we do our company cars here, our personal cars and stuff. So what you're looking at actually is a full test lane. So this cool. is what they use in inspection centers like Puspacom for you to test the braking resistance of the car, your suspension health and everything. So um, it does require quite a lot of real estate. So we are fortunate that actually this whole space is actually built up by us. So we could accommodate for all these kind of larger equipment for it to sit very nicely in team with our building. Wow. What is this? <laughs> this is another one of our display areas. So in here, we actually set up the place for our clients to 
kind of see what you can do with a workshop, what's the limits you can push with a workshop. Always people imagine a workshop supposed to be very dirty and grimy, right, yeah. but in a way we set up this area to also try to show customers that with the right equipment or right features such as the what we have behind that is basically workshop furniture. Things can be done in a very neat and organized way. Ah, this is this is neat. This is the <laughs> Lotus yes. Free Turbo. Yes, if you're a James Bond fan and if you remember Roger Moore, yes, the submarine one, the white cool. one. And there was one more in Moonraker, the maroon one, which he had the ski rack on top. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay, yeah. okay. So I think this is one of the few that's still running around in Malaysia. Something else interesting here, what you see here is brick back top wrenches. It's huge. Yes, it's huge. But there's a special reason for these. Actually, they are very ideal for single wheel lock nuts. So, so race cars, basically. Race cars, correct. And of course, things like your GG3 RSs, some of the uh, full the cans and stuff like that. What's the performantes and all? Yep. So as you can see here, the rating of the torque is between 300 Nm to 1000. And this guy is about 100 to 800, okay? So I think for your Porsches, you're going at about six to 700 Nm. That's what kind of torque you need to remove the nut. Nice. So, so this will do the trick? Yeah. Big guy, you can kind of feel the weight. Oh wow, this is heavy. I gotta <laughs> put this aside. How does one bring this by himself? You put it there, you shove it down <laughs> and you're good. <laughs> so I'm not sure what you guys will be showcasing on the bumper stand. However, um, it's quite good if you have maybe a custom bumper or something you want to plop on this guy. Uh, same time also we have door panel stands and also hood, uh, hood stands there. We have a car with it's a very special car to be honest, it's a Hakko oh. and there's a, there's a body kit coming with that car ah, so okay. we might be able to showcase something there. Yeah, well, I'll leave it up to you, your creativity to <laughs> you know, make the best out of this stand. But this yep. will do the trick, yeah? Yes, it will, it will, it will. Cool. It's, yeah, it's actually very, com very commonly used in spray shops, you know. I see. If they want to prop up parts to spray individual parts, same with the bonnet stand and such. So you, you sure you guys don't need a bonnet stand? Hmm, <laughs> maybe, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> But yeah, that will do for now. So, wait, hold on. I just realized something. Is this a pull-out trolley? Yes, it is indeed, my friend. Wow, this is neat. So it's designed cool. if, say, you want to move your tools closer to your car. So if you're repairing your car right beside that, it's easy for you to just pull out and draw it. So, and when you're done with it, of course, you return it back to where it came from. And this is where we do the quality test in a way. What are you going to do? <laughs> Whoa, push. <laughs> so, each drawer is rated to withstand 80 kg of load on it. So, wow. I think with anything else, it might buckle, the drawer might bend and all. But du Dura is designed for top quality for this. Yes. Yes, I see these two. So they're on my list as well. Yeah. Yes. The engine the stands. Engine stand, yes. Correct. Over here. Perfect. There's two of them here. Yeah. So two different kinds. So um, of course, depending on what suits the show the best, you have your crane type designed to hang the engine, and this, on the other hand, this guy is basically a rotating engine stand whereby the engine is designed to just sit fixed here. Of so course, basically, you yep. slide the whole engine in, I guess. Correct. I think we have an RB26 that. Might just be useful with it for this. Yeah. Okay. So in cases of displaying an engine, it's more ideal to use this guy. I okay. see. This guy is quite good if, say, for practical reasons, you want to just get Carry the engine out, out of yeah. the car. Yeah. But for anything but display, this guy is a bit better for it. Cool. Cool. So yeah, we're taking both of those. Yep. Check that out. Yep. Okay. Okay. So what else? What else am I gonna get? I'll bring your attention over to our master car cargo. Cool. Okay, so look, when you imagine tools, tools are boring things, you know, sockets, spanners, screws. Not to me at least, but. <laughs> of course, but because you're technical, but to the everyday Joe, you know, tools are quite boring and all. So, however, Beta being one of the oldest motorsport tools in Europe, tool companies in Europe, they've started to emphasize a bit more on the lifestyle aspect of tools. Hence why you see a lot of bright colors orange, red, you know, gray for corporate image and such. And they've actually tapped on the lifestyle site whereby actually this master cargo was featured in Jason Statham's transporter oh. number two is where he actually 
hit all his license plates when he got back to his garage and he would do the whole swapping out before this stuff. So we'll be having this at the show. We'll be probably displaying some tools on, on the wall for that, but it's a very interesting piece to have. And I think also for every man cave, you know, it's good to consider one of these guys. Yeah, it's pretty useful. <laughs> yes. I will have this at home. <laughs> correct, 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 correct. So, waste oil drainer you see here, traditional guy, very simple, call this an oil boy. Um, but the pan is actually quite interesting because this is what we call a coolant pan. Ooh, okay. So a lot of people don't realise it, but there is actually a proper safe way to, to dispose of your coolant <laughs> that the um, health and safety officers will be very happy about. Correct. So this is designed for you to actually push it underneath the car where you remove the coolant drain apart, the coolant falls right down there and then when you're done, you get this guy up and you release a valve and it will be dispersed all the way into this guy. Oh, so what we had done is we converted a traditional oil drainer into a coolant drainer. I see, so pan. this thing isn't just a holder, it's actually... So where you can to. see, yes, so where you can see this thing takes a fluid ah, all the way into this guy. Neat, yeah. neat, neat. Alright. Take that off the list. Take that off. Yeah, now this next area is a bit... Ooh, what lies the door? <laughs> what, what is this? <laughs> Why are yes. you here? Wow! Yeah, these are floodlights actually for, say, construction <laughs> sites or maybe if your garage runs out of lights, you just drag this guy in. It looks in like and... something NASA <laughs> sends to the moon. It was one of those cases that, you know, once in a while customers have random requests or odd requests. We try our best to still fulfil those as a total solutions provider. Yes, but actually, I want to bring your attention to this area. Okay, I see what I like. <laughs> yeah, sorry, this is a warehouse, so don't mind a bit, some things are a bit uh, messy. Yes, this is what we call a Unipack OSC. So it was also workshop furniture, which we brought in and localized it at a very friendly market price for the local market here. So I just realized something. Yes. I see that this is wood. Yeah. And is that wood as well or? Ah, see, very attentive, Daniel. Okay, we have two options. Okay, you have a wooden top option and also a stainless steel top option. I see. Now, the difference is traditionally workbenches, especially those coming out of Europe and such, all were designed with wooden tops. And the logic to that is because when you are malleting things, ah. wood absorbs the impact a bit better. Cool. However, due to the Malaysian humidity, after a few years, cool, yeah. the wood maybe you might get a bit of warping, um, and... warping and stuff. So stainless steel has came about. However, of course, when you're doing malleting, due to the properties of steel, maybe you might get a bit of energy transferring back up to the hammer and it might bounce a bit more, okay? So different schools of thought. So we try our best to cater to different preferences. So we'll be featuring many of these compositions at the show, okay? So of course, I'll leave it up to your creativity to decide where you want to park each and every one of them. Yeah, might bring some home as well. Yes, actually we'll be also having special promotions during the show. Ah, great. Uh, what we'll call it is a um, neat fest special promotion on the nice. day. Nice. Yes. Yeah, that'd, be, that'd be very good for everyone. Then. You're more than welcome to take one back once the show is done. Daniel, you guys will need some jack stands too. Yeah, we need some jack stands and impact wrench. Yeah. Yeah, so you got your jack stands here and your impact wrench. Cool. But I just realized there's something that's not on my list. Ah. <laughs> which is that. A quick jack. Yes, yes. This is our very, very famed uh, Ranger quick jack. What the quick jack is, is actually designed to lift up your car. So very good for home applications, especially. Mm. You need a bit of a small lift to get your tires out or whatever. It's enough to get a creeper down there. So for you to do basic maintenance. Cool, cool. So if you're talking about one of the most suitable and portable workshop hoist for your home, this is the guy to have it. Yes. The keyword there is portable. Portable so, is right, yes. Can we have some of these at Out of Speed? Yes, we'll bring one over for Out of Speed. Cool. Ah, oh, yes. This is that creeper ah. I was talking about. Yep. Ah. So enough to get one person comfortably inside. Same time, for your comfort, you can adjust well, your incline, yep. 
it's the most uncomfortable place to be in. So why correct, not? Correct, 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 correct. So yeah, we'll be we'll be bringing this over to the show too. Cool, cool. Yeah, yes. that will work definitely. Back to the auto cycle here. Ah, yes. Welcome back, guys. Yeah. <laughs> having a good, having a good time. Can't get enough of the tiny. Look. It's there. The auto cycle. Hmm. I think it'd be a cool, sizable thing at the hall. Yes. And it'll be like a pretty cool masterpiece there. And um, I have some idea of some cool cars that I want to put it. Ah. Uh, like okay. Stick I'll... it up like this. Yep, cool. I'll give you a quick rundown on this, okay? So Is it safe? Nah, that's, that's ah, not okay, yes, know. very important. He puts a 635 up there. So yes, I'm correct. Sure correct. Confident, I guess. Look, in a nutshell, it's safe enough for me to sleep under here comfortably, okay? okay Alright, so quick rundown on the auto stacker. It's the easiest solution to maximize your parking space at home. Right. If you maybe have a two space parking bay, you want to park an extra weekend car there, you know, this can easily get into your house. And the unique feature about it is you do not need to bolt it down to the floor like a traditional two-post lift. Mm. It's still advisable if you do, but as you can see here, we don't. And, the, and the, the thing is, because of the way it's designed, whereby the weight is distributed over this long plane, it's not, say, like a two-post hoist where it's only distributed to two very small points of the hoist. Right. So, yeah. due to the weight transfer, it's very safe to stand as a stand on its own. And what you see here, these yeah, teeth. These little teeth. Yes. Here, right? yeah. This is the fail safe mechanical lock. Okay. So okay, if okay. ever, which has never happened before, okay. if your cylinders ever fail, the lift will never come crashing down due to the fail safe on both sides. Okay. Right. So this you is a jam it. Correct. This is a very important safety feature for the lift to get CE approved. Without okay. such features, you it will not be able to be qualified as a part. So um, can it start that? Yes, it can actually. You want to give it a go? Oh, first start. Looks like a cow. <laughs> she still runs, the lady in red. Lovely, so... Yes, and I'll see you at the show, Talis. <laughs> Take care, thanks for dropping by. You sure you don't want the mini? <laughs> oh, cool. See you.